Have you ever stopped to consider just how little we truly understand about the star at the center of our solar system? The sun has been a constant in our lives for as long as we can remember, but it still manages to surprise us with its strange and unpredictable behavior. Hey there folks, welcome to our channel. Here we explore the latest trends and developments in the tech industry, from cutting edge technology to the latest science discoveries. In this video, we will discuss the recent strange behaviors of our sun. But before we move forward, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell so you won't miss any of our uploads. The sun has been exhibiting unusual behavior lately, including the formation of large gaps, swirling polar vortexes, intense solar flares, and coronal mass ejections that have the potential to cause catastrophic effects on modern technology. However, these occurrences are all part of a natural cycle that the sun has gone through for billions of years. The main difference now is that we possess the technology to observe and document these peculiar events during a solar maximum. The sun's activity operates on an 11-year cycle, with periods of high and low activity. We are currently approaching the peak of this cycle over the next two years, meaning that strange events in the sun will become more frequent. For the first time in history, we will be able to witness a solar maximum up close and in high definition. Therefore, it is an excellent opportunity to become familiar with the happenings at the center of our solar system. Black Holes in the Sun In March 2023, two enormous openings were discovered on the surface of the Sun, which garnered significant attention worldwide. Based on images captured by NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, the size of these holes is between 20 and 30 times larger than the diameter of the Earth. Although these holes are not harmless, they are not catastrophic either. This phenomenon is a common occurrence on the Sun known as a coronal hole, which is caused by the Sun's turbulent magnetic field. The outer layer of the Sun is made up of plasma that is continually churning and crashing over itself like waves on the ocean. As this plasma flows from the inside of the Sun to the surface, it carries magnetic fields with it, which swell, crash, and merge together. At times, these magnetic fields collide in a manner that propels them straight up into space, providing an escape road for the high-speed release of plasma directly into space, creating a solar wind. When this happens, the affected area's plasma rushes out, leaving behind a region of the sun that is significantly less dense and cooler, resulting in these areas appearing black on our imaging systems. These areas are not black, but are just temporarily less bright than the rest of the sun. The sensors used to record the sun's surface lack the necessary dynamic range to expose the difference in brightness. It is similar to taking a picture of a very bright light with your phone. If you expose it to the light, the rest of the frame will go dark. Coronary holes typically occur at the polar regions of the sun, where they don't impact us as the solar wind blows up or down relative to our orbital plane and moves straight out into space. However, if one of these coronal holes is facing our direction, it indicates that the high-speed ejection of plasma went straight toward us. The solar winds, which travel at 800 kilometers per second or 1.8 million miles per hour, are not a cause for concern as they cannot damage the Earth's infrastructure. They are deflected by our magnetic field. The interaction between the solar wind and our magnetosphere is visible in the form of the aurora borealis, or northern lights. If you wish to witness an aurora, the days following a coronal hole's appearance are excellent opportunities. However, predicting these events is still challenging, as we have not yet developed the technology to forecast solar weather. We can only observe and react to these occurrences. Solar Polar Vortex In February 2023, there was a buzz about a swirling vortex around the north pole of the sun. The phenomenon appeared eerie and gave the impression of a massive chunk of the sun violently swirling around the top of the sphere. A video of the event was posted on Twitter by Dr. Tamitha Skov, a specialist in space weather, who was thrilled by the new images obtained from the Solar Dynamics Observatory. The observatory is a satellite spacecraft orbiting the Earth at a geosynchronous altitude, and it regularly posts all the data it collects online. It's an incredible platform for observing the current state of the sun in various wavelengths of light. The particular event captured in the video lasted for eight hours and started as a solar filament or solar prominence, which is a small stream of plasma that emerges from the surface. This filament occurred close to the North Pole region, and as it rose up, the electromagnetic wind caught up with the stream of plasma, causing it to shred off from the surface. The plasma then swirled around in a vortex as it cooled and settled back down into the sun. 
As far as we know, such an event is rare and was the first time it had been observed. However, the sun operates on a different time scale than humans, and something that happens once every thousand years on the sun is pretty common relative to the age of the star, solar flare. Although most occurrences involving the sun are not as dangerous as they may seem, there are still reasons to be concerned. With the solar maximum comes an increased risk of sunspots, solar flares, and coronal mass ejections, all of which have had significant effects on Earth in the past and will continue to do so in the future. Sunspots can be incredibly dangerous because they cause solar storms that result in coronal mass ejections, which are enormous bursts of plasma and magnetic energy that travel through the solar system. According to a report from April 2023, three significant sunspot groups are currently taking shape, two of which could be harmful to Earth. One of these groups, named AR3270, has grown tenfold and contains two dark cores, each roughly the size of Earth. The overlapping magnetic fields from these cores are highly unstable and can cause volatile combustion on the sun's surface, leading to solar flare eruptions. These sunspots have a 5% chance of creating an X-class solar flare. Flares are measured by their strength, similar to the way earthquakes are measured, with B-class being the smallest, followed by C, M, and X. X-class flares are the strongest and can damage satellites and communication systems. Although the chances of anything hitting Earth directly are minimal, it does happen. One year ago, SpaceX lost an entire batch of Starlink satellites to a solar weather event. On January 29, 2022, the Sun released a Class M flare, and when that solar wind reached Earth on February 3rd, a group of 49 Starlink satellites happened to be orbiting at a low altitude of 130 miles up. After being hit by the solar flare, every satellite in the group fell from orbit and burned up in Earth's atmosphere. The side effects of space weather can affect satellites, including warming in a region called the thermosphere, which increases the density of the upper atmosphere over a short time and causes it to swell up. This denser atmosphere causes atmospheric drag, essentially slowing down anything moving through it. The atmosphere thickened enough to affect the newly launched Starlinks, causing them to experience atmospheric drag and ultimately deorbit and burn up on their way down. This is not something we should worry about because there is nothing we can do about it. Doomsday prepping may be an option for those interested, but for most of us, it is simply an interesting period in the life of our sun that we have the opportunity to observe in real time thanks to modern technology and the internet. It's incredible how little we actually know about our sun, which is the single most important factor in our existence and ongoing survival, yet it still manages to shock and surprise us. The sun is a constant reminder of the sheer power and mystery of the universe. Even with our advanced technology, we are still learning new things about this incredible star that sustains our planet and all life on it. But despite the potential risks of some of the sun's weird behavior, there is also a sense of awe and wonder at the sheer beauty and complexity of our closest star. As we continue to explore and understand the mysteries of the universe, let us never forget the importance of the sun and its vital role in our existence. But could the sun's strange behavior be a sign of impending solar storms that could potentially affect our planet? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest content. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video.